Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video today. My name is Maria and we're getting ready to put some makeup on. Now, I'm doing kind of a staycation here at the hotel, so I'm just going to put on a quick, quick, easy look today just to get my day started. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I have quite a few items here and I'm just going to kind of peek through them and see what we can come up with. Um, yeah, so if you guys like content like this, if you like makeup content, if you like to watch people put on makeup, because that's what I enjoy watching, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a nice comment down below. And, um, you know, I'm going to ask this. It's a big ask. I'm going to ask if you really enjoy the video, watch it till the end. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and just get into it. Now, guys, I already have a little bit of skincare on. I have this fresh deep fresh rose deep hydration oil infused serum uh, you guys have seen this a lot um, I put this on immediately after I wash my face and uh, it's one of my favorite items and that's what I when I travel I do travel with my most favorite skincare and makeup items and this is one um, I don't have a lot of new makeup um, I'm trying to wait until maybe the Sephora sale or something like that to kind of purchase some new things or re-up on some things but we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's see what we got here. So speaking of favorite things, I'm gonna go in with my Danessa Myrex Moisture Repair Balm, just to give some hydration and moisture um, to my face. I actually enjoy putting this on like this. I, I don't know, I like rub, rolling my hands around it. But uh, yeah. Okay guys, so we have our moisturizer and our hydration on with the Moisture Repair Balm Serum. And now I'm gonna go in with the Yummy Skin Water Pow Water Powder Serum. Um, this is a primer serum. And I just enjoyed this because not only does it smooth out the complexion, it kind of keeps me from sweating. It's not real warm here today in Atlanta. Uh, like I said, I'm doing a staycation. And it's about 85 degrees and cloudy. So there is a cloud cover. Yeah. So it's not real warm. Not real warm here today. So that's why we're going to go real light with it. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but um, this water powder serum was out of stock for a while on Sephora and on Danessa Myrix. But I did just get an email that the uh, water powder serum is back in stock at Sephora. So if you haven't had a chance to pick this up, definitely do yourself a favor and pick this up and make it a part of your makeup routine. All right, guys, so before I go in with my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and uh, color correct with my NYX Fix Stick in the shade, um, this is the shade Apricot, so I'm gonna no. and I do blend out my color corrector with my fingers as you can see I use my fingers a lot <laughs> to me it's just easier and more efficient and you don't use up so many different tools even though I do have a lot of tools here with me I've heard a lot of makeup artists say that your best tools are your fingers when it comes to applying makeup. And I really believe that to be true, so don't. So, and that's it, very quick. All right guys, so for foundation today, I'm gonna use something that I haven't used in a minute and it is a powder foundation. It is my MAC Studio Fix powder foundation and for me when I say I want just light a light foundation um, this is the best thing that I have found to work for me I'm going to use this fluffy brush this is going to give me light coverage 
but it's going to give me enough coverage to wear I don't even need concealer to be honest because we are putting everything in. This is a full coverage foundation powder. And it just it just works. Mm. And I really enjoy using this. Y'all, I haven't had a chance to get my eyebrows repaired, so don't judge me on that. And I'm gonna just take my powder puff and I'm just gonna make sure that color corrector and everything is smooth under my eyes. So I was talking to a lady the other day and she was just saying how you know, she wants to wear makeup, but she just, you know, when she look at, uh, when she watches makeup videos, there's just too many steps, too many products, too much time, and she was just like, I don't have time for that. I want something easy. And I would say for anybody who wants something easy, go with a powder foundation. I know we see a lot of people using liquid foundations, a lot of companies coming out with liquid foundations, but a powder foundation is always going to be a staple. It's the quickest, easiest thing to do, and this is full coverage, or it can be light coverage, depending on your skincare needs, depending on your uh, makeup aesthetic, I guess you could say. Um, I just feel like a powder foundation is always going to be in my collection, and preferably the MAC Studio Fix. I really, really like this. All right, guys, so now I am going to go in with just a little bit of bronzer, of course, with my NARS Laguna bronzer. This is the 08. Again, use taking my favorite products with me. And I'm using this Sephora. Uh, this is a Sephora bronzing brush. Um, this is very inexpensive. This was only $3. <laughs> I picked this up from Target. And um, so far, it's pretty good. I know I say my bronzer, my bronzer aesthetic is sunburnt more so than sun kiss. So, and this is a kind of real pretty dark red bronzer that I really enjoy. Instead of using that bronzer to contour my nose, I'm going to go in with this LYS Beauty. This is their uh, setting triple plex setting powder, but this is in the shade Loyalty, which is too dark for me, but it looks really good when I use it to contour my nose. I've also used this as eyeshadow, and it works really, really well. fact that this powder is is very it's too dark to be a setting powder for me but it is very subtle as a contour and I do like that so I'm using this memories of space this is a bright yellow from Mac just because I need something with some color so let's see what we can do yes I 
I'm using this, I guess this is a concealer brush from my Eco Tools brush set. It's kind of a thick, dense, fluffy brush, but I like it when I want to really pack a light color eyeshadow. Yeah, so I somewhat finished my eyes, except I haven't put on any eyeliner or mascara, but I want to go in with blush. And for blush today, I brought with me my Danessa Marks um, Blurring Balm Flush in the shade Bellini, and I also have this Sephora Matte Blush in the shade Poppy. And I typically pair these two together, but since I'm using all powder products today, I'm just going to go in with the Poppy from Sephora and see what this looks like. So this this blush shows up ever so slightly. Um, but I really do like it. I like Sephora's uh, blushes. Um, some of their products are really nice, especially y'all know the Sephora translucent powder is my powder. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes and, and spray my face down and then we'll come back and finish up the look. Okay guys, so I put some eyeliner on, I sprayed down my face, and now I'm going to go in with my Lancome Lash Booster Lash Primer, and then I'm going to go in with my YSL uh, Lash Clash. This is a sample that I got um, during the last Sephora sale, and really with this mascara, you don't really need a primer, but today I really want my lashes to, I want my lashes to pop a little bit. So we're gonna go in and just use this. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm done with my mascara. I tried to turn the lights down just a little bit so we could see the makeup. Um, I did have to go into the bathroom to put my eyeliner on and my makeup looks really good to me. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what it's like in this camera. I'm using my DJ, DJI Osmos Pocket 3 or Osmos Pocket 3 DJI. But anyway, that's the camera I'm using and it is it records in 4K. And y'all, what I'm telling you, if you want a humbling experience, look at yourself in 4K. Is eye opening, but anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and finish off the uh look so we can get our day started. Now, I am using my hourglass palette, y'all know I always finish off my looks with this uh, palette. Just you know, I, I typically like matte looks, but a little shine here and there ain't never hurt nobody. So that's what we're gonna do. It's just, you know, hit up the colors in here. We have a highlighter, a bronzer, and a regular face powder. And like I told you, I didn't really, I forgot to pack a highlighting or a baking type of powder. I just forgot. And uh, so I don't have anything to like lighten my face as far as, you know, brightening. So I feel like just adding a little bit of this radiance from this palette, adding a little bit of radiance from this palette kind of wakes up the look just a little bit. So I do like that. We need to find out what kind of lip we're gonna put on with this. All right guys, so I am done. I am done with my look today on my lips. Y'all, I have this MAC Powder Kiss lipstick. It's called To The Left. It's their Powder Kiss brand which is supposed to be a really soft matte and moisturizing lipstick and y'all know when it comes to lipsticks I am still a MAC fan. I am I am a MAC girl. But anyway so this is just a quick look today. Very simple, very easy. I used all powder products and that's really my go-to when I want something quick and easy. Like I said guys there is a quick and easy way that you can uh, use to apply makeup 
and still look nice. This is nothing outstanding. It's just something I feel, for me, it just makes me look natural. I feel very natural in um, with this look on, and I don't feel like I'm doing too much. Because sometimes when I do too much, when I try to do too much, it never turns. I look like I'm trying to do too much. And I never want to look like I'm trying to do too much. So today, I feel like I just did me. So yeah. And we just got a little pop of color on the eyes with this uh, MAC eyeshadow, Memories of Space. I feel like this is pretty, pretty much a uh, MAC video, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm not going to ramble too much and prolong the video. Go ahead and like the video if you like the video. If you don't like it, go ahead and dislike it. Either way, I appreciate the feedback. I appreciate the engagement. Um, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. But most importantly, come back for the next video. Bye.